Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll talk about how to manually edit migration files in Flask Migrate. So the reason why you would want to do this is because Flask Migrate can't always automatically detect what you want to change. So by manually editing the file yourself, you'll be able to get all the migrations that you want while still having a history of the changes to your database. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to check out the course that this video is from, you can go to the link in the description below. It's called the Flask Extensions course. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and enjoy the video. So there are some things that Flask Migrate can't detect properly when you run the migration. So I'll give you an example of that. What I'll do is I'll change the name of the orders table to simply order. And then I'll run Flask DB Migrate. And let's take a look at the one it just generated. I believe 2A. No, that was the first one. So it would be this one. Okay, so in this case, it's creating a new table order and it's dropping the table orders. And downgrade is just the reverse. So it's creating the table orders, which is recreating the table I already have, and it's dropping the table order. But that's not exactly what I want. I don't want to destroy the table and then create a new one. I simply want to rename it. So all of this is wrong because Flask Migrate can't detect it properly. So if I go look at the documents for Alembic, which is what Flask Migrate uses, I can see all the commands that are available to me. I see add column, I see alter column, uh, among others. And in this particular case, I want to use the command called rename table, if I can find it somewhere. So rename table, here we go. So rename table uh, takes three arguments, two are required, the old table name and the new table name. So I'll use that. So instead of all this, I'll simply run op rename table. The old table name is orders and the new table name is order. And then for downgrade, it's simply the reverse of that. So op .remain, rename table. The old table will be orders once I upgrade, and then the new table will be orders. So it's just the reverse of what I did in upgrade. So now that I have those, if I run flask db upgrade, and let's take a look at the database. So I remember that I have an orders table and I want to change it to simply order. So flask db upgrade and it has run. So now let me look at the database again. I no longer have the orders table, I have order. If I click that there and look at the structure, it has the columns that were in there before and nothing has changed. The only thing has, that has changed was I renamed the table. So if the table had data in it already, none of this data will be affected. The only thing that will be affected is the table name. Whereas in the previous case where it dropped the orders table and then created a new table called order, that would have removed all the data. So just keep that in mind. And I'll link the page here with all the commands. So if you have to go in and manually change something, you'll know exactly what you need to do. And pretty much everything is prefaced by OP. And if you just follow the pattern that you see in the generated files, you should be able to figure out what's going on. But if you need help with anything specific, just leave a comment and I'll help you out. 